I'm sharing this video right now for those that are suffering from burnout. What does that look like? That looks like your energy is fading. That looks like you are playing catch up with yourself pretty much 24 seven. That looks like your enthusiasm and excitement for what you're doing is gone. And everything is becoming more and more laborsome. Now, there are hundreds of different definitions and you can search those up on Google if you want. But I don't want to get lost in the definitions. I want to get lost in the cure. Um, so this video, I'm kind of titling Bouncing Out of Burnout. It's been a term I've had and used for myself. I go through these cycles quite constantly. I go up, energy's up, life is fantastic. And then unfortunately, as other times, things start to go down. My energy goes, my enthusiasm goes, my confidence starts to suffer. And I, um, at a certain point, I hit enough is enough and a turning point. And I, I always call that, like in my journal entries, I'm like, this is the week to bounce out of burnout. So I want to share it as a, uh, as a tool with you. The very first thing that I want to say is that when it comes to burnout, uh, it's quite normal. And uh, we have a, a thought that this is abnormal and that it only happens to some. No, it happens to, I believe, everybody. Um, some might be just so caught up in the world that they just might not recognize it. Um, the really nice thing is actually recognizing it ha is half the cure. So the first thing is that it's normal. It happens to so many. I hope that brings you a little bit of relief, knowing that, oh, this isn't really bad. The key thing is to recognize it, recognize the symptoms, recognize that essentially, for whatever way you're living, it's not serving you and it's actually putting you on a downward trajectory. And if you can recognize, whoa, everything that I'm doing right now, it's not serving me. I'm on a downward trajectory and I, I, need, to, I need to turn this around. And chances are, if you're watching this, you're actually at that point where you're like, right, I need to turn this around. What do I do? And there are enormous, sorry, numerous kind of cures, but the key, the key thing that I do um, is I start journaling. Um, journaling is one of these fantastic uh, processes because it helps us really get present in terms of where we are, what we're feeling, and, and become reflective. Look at, okay, this is me, this is where I am, this is what I'm feeling, this is what I'm doing. And, and I, I think that consciousness of zoning us in present is really important because a lot of people when they're burnt out, when they're feeling miserable, when their energy is low, they don't want to feel that. And you can find yourself overindulging in food or drink or whatever coping mechanisms you might go for. Um, my, my real key thing is no, feel it all because there's wisdom in those feelings there's lessons in those feelings that are gonna help you navigate out. So that's why I say I turn to a journal. Um, as I notice that like I'm on a downward trajectory, I notice it, I turn to a journal. And I start journaling every day for about 20, 30 minutes. And, and that doesn't need to be laborsome, by the way. I literally, I get a nice cup of tea, I sit down, I put a bit of pen to paper. And I just literally just ask myself, Jamie, how are you? And it's always like, I'm feeling like this, and this is what I'm doing, and this is what's occupying my headspace. And, and, and just, just that, just, just taking whatever is going on in your head and giving it a little bit of time to breathe on a page, that in itself can be an enormous cure. Um, oftentimes, a lot of these thoughts that are quite burdensome and quite distracting in our head, all they need is actually a little bit of time to be, to be thought of, a little bit of time to express themselves, and they'll go, um, so this journaling exercise for me is not just a tool to get present and to feel things all the more, but actually it is a part of the cure as well. And so sometimes when, you know, when, I, when I have been out of sorts but just a little bit, this exercise in itself can be enough to turn things around. Um, I always feel the sooner you catch burnout, the easier it is to navigate out. The later you catch it, the harder it is. And, and so let's, let's try and figure out how, like, for however deep you might be in this space, how can we help you navigate out? There's a, uh, there's a great quote by Benjamin Franklin. He said that if you do tomorrow what you did today, you'll get tomorrow what you got today. And that has always in me sparked a curiosity for, well, if I do something different today, that means I'll get something different tomorrow. And that quote has inspired a want and a desire to trial and experiment in my day to day to see what impact that has in my tomorrow. 
And I, I share that quote after the journaling exercise because if you're journaling and you know, you're really tapping into how you're feeling, you might start tapping into certain things that aren't serving you, certain little habits. And, and that quote, well, you know what, if you're doing something every day, it's part of your habits, and you're not happy with how your days are unfolding, you know, your energy's low, your enthusiasm's low, you're, you're really, yeah, you're feeling low. Well, if you start trialing, experimenting, pulling things out of your daily routine, and perhaps putting new things in, it's interesting to see how you might feel the next day, how the impact might serve. So giving you an example, I was journaling this morning, and I pretty much journal first thing as I get up in the morning. And I was like, I notice I'm a bit out of sorts. I've been having, a, I'm a bit tired. I've been having a coffee every day for the last few weeks. But you know, today I'm not gonna have a coffee. I just wanna see how, how I'll feel as a result. And, and you know, tomorrow I'll, I'll, I'll have a few notes for that. One thing I'm noticing is my head's much, much calmer. My energy is much more normalized. That's interesting. So what I would encourage you to do is, as I said, Trial and experiment. Look at the little things you're doing every day and perhaps look at them and say, is that serving me? And if you're unsure, perhaps, okay, well, let's take that out and see what today brings without that the day prior. And this exercise of trialing and experimenting and looking at what perhaps is working for you and what perhaps is not working for you and figuring out a more refined, optimized route forward is this fantastic way of complimenting yourself and navigating your way out of a burnout, regardless how deep you're in. Now, the deeper you're in, probably the bigger changes you're gonna to have to make. The less deep you're in, the less big changes you're gonna to have to make. But it's a philosophy that works every single time for me. And here's the really interesting one, because I've gone through this cycle so many times. My route into the, that kind of burnout mindset and state is always different. There's always little different triggers that bring me down. And my route out, like that, the, the, the founding pillars of like recognizing where I'm at, getting present, feeling it all the more, journaling, but then onwards from there is always different. The little things that I do to pull me out. Of course, some of the tools that worked in the past still do work in the future, but there's always new learnings. And this, process is incredible for us essentially to learn how to work with ourselves better. And I, I share these videos, to be honest, because this has been my passion. I have been a passionate learner. And to be honest, I've been passionately in competition with myself to, to just figure out how I can get the most for myself, figure out how I can be in my best state and way and shape and form. And I, I share these videos because I always, I loved the idea that I could share the lessons that I'm learning and values that I'm taking. Um, and I could share them out blindly, and not knowing who's gonna, who's gonna receive them um, and what value it's gonna bring them. But the idea that perhaps it might help someone and perhaps it might bring them benefit off the back of my learnings, that feels really, really good. Um, so I shared in that and I hope, yeah, if you're in that state, as I said, I, I love just noting the first thing, it's normal. It took me years to figure that out. <laughs> Um, I ran away from those feelings then, like I tried to do everything to just you know, not feel the impacts of burning, but when I actually just sat in them, journaled to bring it up all the more, and then started to trial and experiment, like that Benjamin Franklin quote, if you do tomorrow what you did today, you'll get tomorrow what you got today, sparked such, a, such an excitement to do things differently and to trial and experiment. And so I hope in watching this that it's inspired perhaps a bit of a different route forward for you. And what I'd ask is, if you've gotten this far, um, I'd love to hear your feedback in the comments below. Um, if there's any little tools that, that have worked really well for you, I'd love you to share them beneath. And if, um, if you are in a challenging period right now and you do apply this method, or whatever parts of it suited you, I'd, uh, I'd love to hear in a couple of weeks how it served you. Uh, but for now, I'll just wish you so well.